Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day. It is the release day of Modern Warfare. I was up at midnight when the game did actually drop. I had to cut it short though. I didn't actually stay on playing through the night as I did intend and I'll get on to that why in just a second. But so far I am absolutely loving this game right now. It feels so good. The I don't know. Everything about it just feels amazing. But I wanted to do this video um, to talk about the issues I did run into when I first hopped onto this game because there was a lot of issues, uh, things I had to get my head around and things that took a while to get used to and just the struggle of playing initially. Uh, but the gameplay we are watching here is just a little bit TDM gameplay I got about 10 minutes ago. I do end up dropping a chopper gun, a bit slow paced but it is what it is. Um, I want you to focus more on what I'm uh, going to be saying. Um, Basically, I hopped on at midnight. I knew I'd played the beta, and I know I struggled a hell of a lot on the beta, and I've said that before. Uh, this game is so, so different. Jumping from a fast-paced game uh, into a game where I want to play fast-paced, but it becomes extremely difficult to do so. Unless you're an absolute animal. Um, but, so I hopped on and I was playing, and I was getting absolutely bodied. ARs in this game seem to be very, very dom dominant. Uh, I know the MP7 is meant to be good, I've heard, but the MP5 is personally my favourite weapon. It was my favourite weapon in the beta, and it's my favourite weapon on the actual full game release. So if you haven't already, make sure you do check it out. I have done a class setup video about that back in the beta. Uh, it's the same class setup I'm rocking here. So it's still absolutely amazing. Uh, I'll probably do a new, new video in case anybody's missed that. But um, I was getting bodied, people would just be camping in corners and Sit, it's shooting me from across the map. The maps in this game are super hard, and that's one of the reasons that, well, it's not super hard, but they're super open, which makes them a, bit, a little bit hard to play as an SMG, um, which is my preferred play style. I like to try and keep it close combat, that's why I'm trying to hold down this area of the map, where I know I can get them in my close vicinity and I know I'll be able to kill them relatively quickly. Um, Whereas a lot of maps such as, I forget the name of it, but there's a big Indian palace in the middle type thing. Uh, it's massively open and trying to get kills uh, with the SMG when you've got people in windows just gunning you with ARs. And the kill, the time to kill in this game is insanely quick. The headshot multiplier is through the roof. You get a headshot, I'm pretty sure, pretty much short to medium range, it's going to be a two hit kill any day of the week. With ARs, that is, it's insane. Uh, super annoying. It took me so long to get used to. The time to kill was super annoying. I was just dying so fast and not reacting. And to be fair, it was my fault. A lot of this didn't go to plan at the start of the game. Literally, for at least probably my first five hours of game time, was an absolute struggle because I didn't realise what I had done wrong. The game for me was feeling sluggish. Whereas, if you guys know, if you play Call of Duty a lot, you're getting shot. You can usually sort of um, master the skill of dipping and weaving, like getting out of that situation and trying center yourself back up ready to re-challenge hopefully you can come out on top instead of just trying to just sit there and get killed um, well I was pretty good at this in Black Ops 4 hopped into this game I was awful at it if I, was get, like, if I get shot from the side let's say I've run out into this open area here and I get shot from the side I'd be able to quickly move into a little bit of cover and try and avoid dying there and try and you know re-challenge and try and come out on top like I said I couldn't do it to save my life on this game. I don't know why. I just felt like this. I felt like this game is so slow. The time to you move so slow, but the time to kill is so fast. It just doesn't make any sense. This is so challenging. You know, my KD is rock bottom. Uh, thankfully, it was positive. I'll be honest, but it was not pretty. Uh, that is for sure. Thankfully, I've turned things around. Uh, it was literally my sensitivity. I'll be honest. I think if you can rock a high sensitivity on this game. You will dominate. I played a 6-6 on Black Ops 4. I'm playing 8-8 right now on Modern Warfare. And to me right now, it feels really slow. Like, not really slow, but it just doesn't feel quick enough for my liking. If the high sensitivity on this game is key, I'm telling you. Just to be able to... The time, because the time to kill is so short. Having them lasers, like, quick, sharp reactions and being able to snap on as quickly as possible makes... Trust me, a hell of, a hell of a lot of difference. As soon as I switched my sensitivity, I noticed a huge, huge change to my gameplay and this game. I started enjoying it way more. I didn't want to play it. I thought, oh, it's the same old, same opinion as the beta. I'm not, you know, it's a good game, but I'm not enjoying it to the fullest. I know I'd rather, I'd enjoy this way more uh, if it was like Black Ops 4 and how that flash grenade if you still there got stuck on the door. I don't know. Um, 
I, I, I'm just not enjoying it, but since there's such sensitivity, I started melting kids, and I know you actually do this in this gameplay, I know it's a bit of a boring gameplay, but it's something I just threw together, because I've not actually recorded anything, apart from this, I don't know why this is recorded, but it is, um, so I thought I'd just use it anyway, just to address this issue I had, um, so if you guys are feeling the same, you feel like it's sluggish, and you're struggling to, you know, get into better situations, and avoid, you know, dying, like, quick, like, like dodging and weaving, like I said, then up your sensitivity massively, like, it made such a difference. Just don't up it massively, like to insane where you can't even aim. Uh, make sure it's like a mix between a comfortable mix, like you can aim decent and hit your shots with, while still being able to move quickly as possible. Because this game is so slow paced, and if you're an AR, you sort of sat back. Um, being able to move quicker is key if you're running an SMG. You know, if you're because I was running so sluggish and slow, it was hard for me to not basically run in a straight line. Like I can't. If I'm running straight and then someone starts shooting at me, I can't quickly dip to the right and just get in cover and avoid being killed right there, right then. Uh, whereas with low sensitivity, because it's so slow, I couldn't move quick enough. It was the most frustrating thing. I don't know why I didn't think about it, because I at the start, before I even hopped into a game, I sorted all my button layout and everything. And for some weird reason, I just forgot completely about the sensitivity. I don't know what clicked in my head, but I just thought to myself, what is my sensitivity on? And there we have it, it was 4 4, and I thought, no way! That is why I such a stupid thing of me. And we actually get the chopper gun right now, thankfully. Unfortunately, I do absolutely awful with it on this map. It's just, I don't know. This map is just not great for the chopper gunner. And I didn't really know what I was doing in this map. Well, it's not my first chopper gunner. I got a couple in the beta, to be fair. But uh, in the actual. No, it's my second chopper gunner in the full release, actually. I got one on the bridge map. I forget which one it's called. Um. I'm sure you guys know what I mean, it's the big one, 10 versus 10, uh, with a massive bridge in the middle, uh, yeah, you'll know what I mean, it was that one I got my first chopper going on, um, I think it was just my like, fourth game actually, it was a pretty insane game, sniping, it was a such a good snipe map but actually, if it goes in your favour, there's a lot of things still up with this game, I'll be honest, I still think the mini map needs to be sorted to the original way, I'm intrigued to see how the ranking up system is going to be, um, what else was there, the time to kill is fine, but it just takes me getting used to, um, there was something else, but I've totally forgotten now. It literally in my head, and I'm so annoyed at that. Why? Why have I forgotten? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's still a few things that need to be changed, and I hope we do get changed soon. Just add the extra little bit of spark to the game, just to sort of perfect it, if I will. Because um, to me, once you've mastered the game, which it does take some getting used to, I'll be honest. It's obviously it's way different than uh, Black Ops 4, and it's not as fast paced. It's it's just slower. But I think it feels the right mixture between a sort of ghost feel and uh, the original Modern Warfare. I think it feels amazing. I think this game is uh, it's actually so much fun. Um, I, the, I can't really pick any faults apart from the little tweaks like the mini map. I wish there was an original mini map. It's a, excuse me, I hiccuped. It's essentially a, just a normal mini map. And I've hiccuped again. Wow. Um, that's all it really needs, and I think the game will be tip top. I'm intrigued to see how competitive it's going to be as well. Uh, I've tried to think to myself what maps are going to be competitive and what guns, but. It is what it is, uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying Modern Warfare, I am absolutely loving it. This video is going to come to an end, but don't worry, I'll be co covering a lot more news and stuff, and best class setups and stuff like that, whatever you guys want to see, let me know. But if you do want to see more daily Call of Duty Modern Warfare content just like this, then make sure you do hit that like button down below, and smash that subscribe button as well if you are new around here. Thank you guys ever so much for watching, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.